what is going on everybody welcome to a review slash first look but it's not really a first look of street legal racing redline exhaustive it's a very nice name if you ask me it's very you know oh exhaustive you know makes it sound you know ex exotic and shit um and it's actually quite the accurate name because there are a lot of things uh just let me re let me tell you uh, let me read you a few things 200 chassis 200 cars essentially 272 tires 2042 rims that's a lot of a lot of things so the game will be in the description and anything else i talk about will be in the description but without further ado let us go on so there we are uh as you can see immediately there is a definitely an emb in this game definitely and that is right um right now this is how the game comes this is how the emb looks completely stock but Shift and F10, Shift F10, opens it, opens it up, and you can tweak it to however you like. Everything is uh, moddable, everything is changeable, so you can uh, have a very nice looking game to co configure it to your liking. Because right now it's a bit too much, it doesn't look particularly good. Um, but the game, the only problem is the game is uh, 720p, it doesn't allow you to go over 720p, but you know, probably in this, probably through a config file or something, you can probably go to 1080p. But as you can see, uh, we got a stanced W140S class. Looks sick as fuck. Uh, this is something I quickly built just to t test out the game. As you can see, there are screens at the back of the headrests. and um, Very nice, very nice car. But let's begin with the amount of cars. There are a ton of cars. It's, like I said, 200 different chassis. You got, we got, you got a 155V6 TDI DTM2. Aston Martin, RS6s, we got some American cars, E30s, M392s, and not an M3, you know, just a 3 Series. Uh, we got Z28s, Porsche 911, from 73rd, from 1973. We got Stingrays from 2014. A lot of cars. Chevrolet Lassetti, you know, for the shit box life. I think this is a race one, because it has the race tires and shit. Uh, we, we got the Chevy Montana, what, I never even heard of this. We got we got a fucking we got a Chevy Astra, which is you know here in the real world, the real world of Europe, it's an Opel Opel Astra, or in the UK Vauxhall, uh, an Opel Astra, 1.98 Opel Astra, and there is a fu ooh, there's a Vectra, dude. These ooh, these cars are I don't like these cars, but ooh, it's very nice that they're in the game. We got a C4, a DS4, you know, very nice cars. Uh, we got Commodores. Holden's and fucking Pontiac GA, that's the same car essentially as the Holden Commodore, um, Fort Corso, I've never, yeah, it's pretty old, Dodge Cor Cornet, I don't even know, I don't even know how to pronounce that, there's a lot of cars, there's a Corsa, dude, there's a fucking Opel Corsa, dude, I don't even know, I don't even know, you can, you can have a lot of fun, there's a Chevy Duster, um, that's awful, I don't like that, there's a da Dacia Logan, dude, Ooh. Ooh, that's pretty sick. We got we got you know the standard two forties. We got a uh, escort costwards. We got Evo six. We got a Sk Skoda Fabia WRC and the normal one, which is really cool. Um, there's Fair Lady Z four three two. Oh, this is this is a two forty or a two eighty. Uh, we got the F you know, fucking old ass cars for the G the, the original GT forty. Uh, the original GT. We got a Sierra Cosworth. Oh, that's a sick car. Ford Fiesta, Ford Focus RS, Golf, Golf's uh, to Celica GT. As you can see, a lot of cars on the CRX, on the Fit, AP1, AP2, ST, S2000s. Um, we had the IROC Z uh, Camaro, Jaguar, Kia C. You know, fucking every, a car for everybody. You know, there's er there's everything. There's a fucking Lancia Delta HF Integral, a Evo. This is something I probably I will definitely make a let's build um, on AMG GTS. There's a W140S class, the one I built. There's an A45 AMG, which is not a real AMG, and uh, S class W126. If you want to roll and uh, you know and maximum luxury. Uh, with class, there's an MX-5, of course, uh, Eclipses, Eclipses, a lot of Eclipses, Mustangs, a lot of Mustangs, um, Celine, oh shit, oh shit, that's pretty good, that's a Mustang, Celine, it's pretty cool, Nissan March, Flex Fuel, I don't even, fuck, I don't even, uh, isn't that like a Micra, I'm pretty sure that's a Micra, here in the in Europe, and this is a Micra, I don't know, doesn't matter, Opel Astra Touring, <laughs> fucking Opel Astra Touring, what even is life? 
a lot of cars. Peugeots, Peugeots. Nobody likes Peugeots, but you know, they're, you, know you can buy a Peugeot. A two six. That's pretty good, I guess. A two six is not that bad. Just call the Rapid. What? Fucking these cars are. I don't even. Oh man, a lot of cars. A lot of cars. Dacia, Renault, Renault Sandero. Is it a Dacia Sandero? I don't know. Um, a lot of cars. Supers, Mark Twos, Mark Threes. Fucking uh, a lot of every any kind of ladder you want. Is it even a no? I don't even. I don't know. Volkswagens, VWs, Polos, and whatnot. V um, Volvos, anything. There's a lot of cars. A ton of cars. As you can see, it's full of cars. Um, one thing to note that if, if you should, for me, this it might not be like this for you. But if I click on the chassis, the game cra uh, on the vehicle, the game crashes. You just uh, you gotta buy chassis, standalone chassis. <clears throat> so let's go on to engines. As you can see. It's quite different from SLRR, but injected by Vlad, which is a superior, the, the best out th th that there is out there. Um, everything is split out onto a lot of, uh, you know, easily clickable things. You know, you just search for whatever you want and you, you, you get it. There are other random shit here. And there is uncategorized, which you got the exhaust system, exhaust tips, drive, but a lot of things too that you want to look around. But the rebuild engines, there are a lot of engines. A lot of engines. You got, you got a lot of American engines. You got the 327 cubic inch Chevy uh, Cor Corvette engine. You got two JZ, uh, a lot of fucking Audi, AMGs, mm, CA18, a lot of cars. A lot of American engines too. Camaro, Chrysler, Cr Chrysler, Devils, some random ass Devils, Dodges, Dunes, uh, EGs, Ferraris. Also, one thing to note. You can see the HV is shown, which is mint. Um, a European V6 engine block with a thousand horsepower. You know, standard shit. We got the F133 FXX V12 engine. That sounds, that sounds sick. You got a Fiat 2.5 20 valve inline five, which also sounds sick. We got LSs, of course. We got GM LSs. We got any kind of K20s. We got, we got inlines. Fucking anything you want, anything. Your you heart desires. There are a ton of engines. You just, I can keep clicking it. I keep clicking it. I keep clicking and it. it fucking goes on. And there we go. We got an LS7, LSX. You just, a ton of engines. A ton of engines. So you, you, you're never going to have a problem with engines uh, in this game. So, bodies. This is also dependent on the car. And uh, the, whoever made the mod, you know, he decides what kind of fucking things come in here. Uh, replacement parts, body panels and whatnot. Lights and window, everything. Uh, all these are, um, you know, with the mod itself. You got neons, but nobody likes neons. One thing that's interesting is the aerodynamics, or the spoilers, or the wings. There are a ton of wings you can choose from. Obviously, you know, you got. And it seems like all these are insoluble with no problem. On my, you know, let's buy a, a random ass wing, and you just go out and uh, go out and just fucking most wanted wing. There we go. That looks awful doesn't fit you need to tweak it but there we go you can install wings and shit um no problem body same thing others you got license plates and whatnot which is cool i guess uh it was actually very cool body kits and probably should probably going to be either depending on the mod or empty most of the time now these are these are interesting these are some strange strange parts um as you can see i just bought it and you just kind of and so that shit, it just, it's, it just makes the car look like, like we're in a fucking anime. That's what it makes the car look like. And, uh, you know, I don't, it's no, it's a no from me with these parts, but there are like a ton of them. Uh, if you really want to go crazy, uh, which hopefully you, you don't, because it's, I don't know, I don't know, man. Um, then, if we go to running gear, it's quite interesting. Obviously, different layout than SLRR, injected by Vlad. And we've got a bunch of more. Uh, suspension parts. We got we got Dodge Viper ones, which is strange. I don't even know. Uh, we got high performance double wishbones. We got quick cornering, uh, trailing arms and whatnot. Standard, high speed drift. You got and of course you got the Mister Sir one and two old school and and shit. You know the best of the best. You got and you got the stock game ones that are really not interesting. One thing to note is uh, running your kits. There are kits here. Callovers, you know, just complete callovers. Once you install, once you install the suspension, Mr. Sir's or whatever the fuck, 
You just click, buy one of these, and sell it, and it's just GG. You got Type Pass Call over us, you got Tains, you got Greedies, Tokikos, Tains, everything, Manconis, whatever the fuck you want. You just click and install. Uh, brake systems, it's pretty, pretty standard here. These are all standard, but they, these are a few different ones uh, that there are. You know, you, you can just look around. Um, when it comes to rims, like I said, 2048 rims. There's a lot of rims. I'm pretty sure it's BBs with extra. Uh, rims installed here. The only problem is, as you see, some rims are facing the other way, so you can't really tell what kind of fucking, what kind of rim you're buying. But rims are far, far, far from a problem in this game. So are tires, same as you know. You, you got a bunch of tires. You got the SLs, and then you got the, then you got Yokohamas and shit. As you can see, all of them are you know pr pretty much uh, instant fit on your car. So uh, tires are also not a problem in this game, um, which is good. For modifications, this game is very good. Now, interior, again, it will be depending on the mod, but there are a ton of steering wheels you can install. You know, it's, 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 an, it's, it's a ton of them. Uh, dashes, gear knobs, and pedals. Uh, it's just a lot of parts, which is strange, I guess. Uh, gauges, this might fit some cars, some others, I don't know. Seats, there are a ton of seats. You can choose from whatever the fuck kind of seat you want. Um, you know, these are standard seats. You got Celine seats, you got race seats, you got you got whatever you want seats again not a problem in this game row bars are the same as always and decorations are interesting because i've got no idea what these are i haven't tested them out but you know let's just buy one of these and see what it does to my car um all in all there are a lot of parts in this game this game is have as an overabundance of part made the, my car lower but i don't even i don't know where it went i don't know where it went well Whatever, it went somewhere. Um, but there's an overabundance, exhaustive, there's an exhaustive amount of parts in this game and whatnot. But, again, it's a bit of unstable. Also, uh, one thing of note is this. As you can see, the... Let me just get a bunch of these. You see how it just switches you down to the next... You know, Whatever part you remove, it just takes you down with it. Which is not something I like because if you're changing parts and whatnot, quick, quick what, what happened here? If you're changing parts and whatnot, it's just very, uh, uh, you know, uncomfortable to, for it to take you down every single time. Also, it's five items per per uh, thing, which is not cool. It's very not cool. Um, other thing to note: color. It's it, it's just f again the same thing. Five per per fucking page, which is. Very, very uncomfortable to find the color you want. A uh, few things to note. There are quite a few decals. If I can find the decals. Probably decals somewhere. Oh, there you go. Uh, that are co uh, ooh, ooh, man. The game, like I said, is a bit unstable. So, you know, when it does that shit, freezes. It's very worrisome. Oh, wow. This is actually pretty sick. This is actually pretty sick. I mean, not particularly on this car, but the way it spreads it out. Oh my god. Okay, then we got something new, something interesting. This, I did not know this. Mm. So you can put on some crazy ass wraps on this car. Yeah, there, there are a ton of wraps on this. Oh my. Oh no, this, on any car. There are a ton of wraps. Like, this looks like a fucking wallpaper or something. Red. Oh, this actually is pretty cool. Red with like lines and shit yeah oh yeah there you, you got working this this is pretty good there's a lot of it seems there probably even more but I don't want to be wasting too much time on this so once we go into here you can see this there's only there's there's only four maps in like what what, what what is this what it what, what are there only four maps ha ah, you see there's something different you can go on the bros tournaments on the and there, there you go. You got, you got 150 events to race against AI and whatnot. There are a ton of events. There are a ton of maps too. It's, it's a lot more. Laguna Seca. You got fucking. You got, you got a lot of maps. Longstone. I don't even know what I, I don't even know where that is. So, like I said, the game is very unstable. Not very unstable. It's just not very stable, and uh, it just crashed. It does that a lot. I lost the progress on this car like twice. So, uh, whenever you're building a car. Just keep that in mind and just save fast, you know, save constantly. You want to be on top of that shit because the game is a bit unstable. But 
as you can see, a lot of a lot of fucking races. You, 150 races, you know, you can probably find a good race throughout all of these. So uh, um, let's let's take out let's let's just, what is this? No, these are some random ass maps that a lot of events kind of gower fucking downhill downhill sprint. The, the, mm, I don't like the the background picture of that one. Looks a bit spooky. Uh, where's Laguna Seca? Did I miss it? Yeah, let's go on Laguna Seca and see what's what. Welcome to tournament round. Boom! Oh, it just opens up this place. Ooh, look at how sick the car looks. All right, all right, all right. So um, is there anybody else going to be coming? That really doesn't sound like a uh, like an AMG. <laughs> um, oh, what? The okay, just kind of. This might have some kind of drift physics or something along those lines because that was unexpected. Go yeah, this dip. What the? Okay, this probably has drift physics. Some kind of physics that are not standard. They these are not these are not the SLR are injected by Vlad physics. I can tell you that much. And uh, these are these are very very hardcore physics. It seems. Okay, okay, we got we got a race going on here. No. So we we were actually racing against other people. Which what is this guy? What is this guy? What is this like? I wanted to uh, enable my controller settings, but you cannot change settings in in here. Oh, that was oh that was that could have been a very nice entry, but you know I, I've, I'm like look at them sliding like motherfuckers. Look at this guy. It's not. It's not made for keyboard driving. I can tell you that much. It's definitely not made for keyboard driving. This is a bit, a bit too hard. You can see. You can see the the headrest uh, screens on the car though. Yo, fuck. Hmm. Yeah. Used to be with, driven with a controller. You want race? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, guys, uh, that shall that shall be it. I, I, uh, I probably missed a few things. I had to re-record uh, re this thing. Like right now because I fucked up the first time. So uh, yeah, that's that's going to be it. A few things to reiterate: uh, the game is unstable. So you know, the career mode is not. I don't know. I wouldn't try it. Um, constantly save because the game crashes again. Unstable and um, and shift plus F10 changes the EMB. But that's that's it. Um, thank you for watching this episode, or this video, I guess, and uh, I'm going to see you in the next one.